I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Monday August the 14th where we really need a calm Monday here we don't uh, hopefully the, the board's not sharply down again like it opened up last week but uh, the thing is is your big volume feeder cattle auctions like Oklahoma City and Joplin on Monday and and, and wherever you're at regionally all those Monday sales have yet to experience the big losses that we had last week on a rough week there uh, most of your sales, uh, your feeder cattle market ended up last week at the end of the week five to ten dollars lower. They didn't get hardly any of that pressure uh, last Monday, so so that it could spell uh, more downtrend because people see the lower market and lower just feeds on lower and it gets the snowballing. But we need to expect our markets on Monday and partly on Tuesday to be lower, catching up with all the sales that were lower because Wednesday was rough. Remember, the uh, feeder board was down the limit on Wednesday. So you got to expect these Monday cash feeder markets to be lower and they're just catching up and, and maybe we can hold the ground here. But uh, your board for last week, Live Cattle Futures October contract ended the week down six dollars and seventy cents from the end of the previous week to end the week at 107.40 which is the lowest we've seen for quite some time uh, your spot august at 109.72 and december is well up into the 109 so uh, october is expected to be kind of a rough month as a lot of people think there's another wall of cattle there but i'm not really sure where they came from feeder cattle august contract ended the week down eight dollars and eighteen cents for the week at 141.77 you look at your fat cattle trade for last week uh, through thursday had almost 110,000 head in the five area feeding region which is a pretty good movement albeit on a down market there cash steers uh on a live basis averaged 115.17 through thursday which was roughly down two dollars from the previous week's weighted average Dress steers average 183.89, down about $3.50 compared to the previous week. Box beef cutout values are, are still kind of holding uh, the bottom there, although they're lower just because there's so much pressure on your cattle and beef markets. But uh, choice boxes for the average trade of last week was 201.37, down 363. Select average trade for the week was 196.56, down $1.17. You look at uh, we mentioned that your cash feeder market was five to ten dollars lower for the week last week. Real time index on Beef Market Central, based on an 800 pound steer, ended the week at 143.45, which was down five dollars and twenty cents compared to the previous week. But uh, you look at some markets late in the week there. Bluegrass Stockyards in Lexington had a big uh, internet sale right here on DV Auction. Ended up with over 10,000 head on there and they're really get excited about the opening. You remember the bluegrass, the home base there at Lexington burnt down uh, a while back and, and they've been building it back and a lot of people wondered if they would build such a big facility like they had and they did and, and it's just gonna be a, an excellent grand facility there with a grand opening for September the 11th. Uh, so you, you wanna set your calendars for that. If you're close, you probably wanna go attend that sale because it will be a barn burner and they've got a lot of consignments already lined up for that big opening day. But uh, look at a Friday sale there. Burwell, Nebraska, Burwell Livestock Market, another DV auction uh, sale. You can view every week and bid right there. 4,600 head for the big barbecue customer appreciation day sale and, and uh, talking with my buddy Tom Walters there. He thought maybe they had spiked the iced tea that they gave with the free lunch that uh, the way people were, were bidding on these cattle. Uh, you look at a group there on the automated report. Charlotte Steers at 1.30 in the afternoon had a ring full of them, weigh 800 pounds at 155.75. That's probably the only place in the world that you could get uh, that kind of a price late last week. But also at that Burwell sale, they had three loads of heifers, weighed 857, 145.85. That's your feeder flash for Monday.